Yo, YouTube, how's it going? My name is Eli. If you're new around here, welcome to my channel. If you are a, a longtime subscriber, it's been a minute since my last video, so welcome back. I'm glad to be back. Excited to make this video for you guys. So, if you've been watching me for a while, follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, etc. All that is linked below, by the way. You'll know that I've been shooting a lot of film this spring and summer, and I'm really, really enjoying it have no plans to stop shooting film at all. But I wanted to kind of incorporate digital a little bit more into my workflow, but make it uh, more interesting, more fun. Um, kind of this clinical experience I would get on the EOS RP that I'm filming video on right now. I don't love the photo experience on it, just for everyday shooting. I do use it for client work, but when I'm going out making photos for myself for artistic reasons, it's not the most fun to use, you know? So I picked up this little guy right here. This is the Fuji X70. I want to talk a little bit about this camera and then we're going to go out and make some photos. So as you may already have noticed, I'm not in Indiana right now, I'm actually in Destin, Florida. So I want to go outside, it's a nice sunny morning, I want to take some photos on the X70. Um, but before we do that, I want to kind of go back in time, uh, oh about a week ago, to some photos I took in a small town um, near where I live. Um, so as we do that, I want to kind of do a voiceover over that and talk about the reasons why I love the X70, my thoughts on it so far, thoughts on film simulation profiles, etc. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to go on a photo walk in sunny Florida. I knew I wanted a camera to shoot on days when I either didn't want to shoot film but wanted to be able to snap a few photos or on days when I've already shot a roll uh, but I don't have enough time to shoot more film. I knew this camera would be fabulous for street photography. My decision came down to the X70 or the Ricoh GR2. Both of these cameras have a fixed 28mm equivalent lens and neither of them has a viewfinder. Uh, but I went with the Fuji simply because I knew I'd be able to use film recipes. So the photos you're seeing now, they were all shot with a Portra 160 recipe. This basically means a series of color, white balance, and tonality inputs. Uh, can produce an in-camera JPEG that simulates the look of film. I find this particular recipe to be accurate and it renders soft and warm tones in a gorgeous golden way. The X70 is so portable and it sports a sleek and simple design and it's just super seamless to use. I literally picked it up and uh, I had it figured out in about five minutes, the basics, and then uh, within 30 minutes I was already out shooting with it and making images. The portability of the camera makes it a true everyday carry. It turns on very quickly and it's ready to shoot at a moment's notice. That 28mm focal length is wider than the 50 I tend to shoot with, uh, at least in my film work. Um, but this wider focal length is ideal for candid street photography. Speaking of that, using it in the street is like an extension of my eyes. The ergonomics are fabulous. I hate to sound like a broken record, but this camera really does feel similar to the film quote experience. The manual dials and film simulations really sell the film vibe. I will no doubt be buying an X100 line camera in the future. I am completely sold on the Fujifilm brand experience I had heard so much about. And you know that brings me really to the only downsides of this camera. Uh, the first being a lack of a viewfinder. This is mildly annoying, uh, but I've gotten used to it fairly quickly. On sunnier days, the screen has to be turned to its brightest setting, which drains the battery life quickly. If you buy this camera, uh, I heavily recommend getting a handful of batteries. You'll be glad you did. I even find myself being more selective with what and how I shoot with this camera. But more about that in future videos. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for plenty more content coming soon.